Hello everybody, Tuber4 here, and welcome back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. Do -do -do. And today I think we are going to do the Tools of the Trade quest, which will involve finding all of the special tools for relic hunting that are displayed in the uh, Explorer Society Guildhouse. Um... Yeah, quite a few to find, including volume one through six of these journals. We've got three and six. So we're here outside of Thirsk Mead Hall, because I guess there's one inside, and thankfully we can just go on in here, because they want to talk to us about something. Snag that journal. And yep, started the quest that is associated with it. Might as well take a look around to see if there's anything else here worth grabbing, I guess. Does not look like there's anything, so we're just going to be on our merry way to the next location, which is, I assume, this Broken Tusk Mine is where we'll be finding the other one. Yeah, this definitely looks like the spot. Unsurprisingly, there's Reeklings here. Sorry guys, your time has come. A Daedric Buckler? Cool, I'll take it. Ah, oh, beautiful, it's just right there, that's easy. Bleh. I also see a big chest for our efforts. Take that. Bum 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 Gold, yay, and some chests as well. <laughs> Get folded, bitch. Big chest for our efforts? Maybe. Spiders three, cool. Yeah, couple heart stones. Oh, that's some nice stuff. Just give me all this. Nice. You love to see it. I'll come back around for these heart stones, but there's no sense not seeing what lies further beyond. Just kidding. That's all there is. Okay, cool. Back to the mainland for us then. All right, we're going to make our way over to Full Gunther, because I guess Alvaro's tools are just hanging out outside. Should be easy enough to find. Looks like it's right here, actually. Easy. Alvaro's tools can now be used for your inventory to prospect fragments to try and find more keystones. It exchanges two fragments for a keystone if successful or costs one fragment if it fails. Rate of success is based on your archaeology skill level, which is very nearly, oh hell yeah, which is very nearly almost maxed out, so I guess we'll have a maxed out chance of that being the case. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're here outside of Silent Moon's camp for Malrus's Codex. I know we can't get it just yet, but we can at the very least start the quest to get it handled. You weak idiots. Good luck. You've been steamed and stabbed, bitch. How do you like that? Ouch. Jesus. Chill out, bro. Oh my god. A lunar iron sword? I don't know if I have one of those. Yoo-hoo. Anybody home? I've come to totally kill you. Surprise. Are you surprised? Oh, she's surprised. Ooh, bummer. See you later. Uh, we'll just use our handy dandy key or not. Never mind. I didn't want to use it anyway. Okay, so his codex is down here. Um, we'll check his knapsack and read his journal, which will give us information on how to access that bad boy. Good, excellent. Yes, the Book of Wonders. Oh, we might as well use this too. Nice, 98. Getting ever closer to our goal, it seems. Now that we have that sorted away, we ought to go here for Sanamiya's journal, which is just way up here in the mountains. We'll get there from Bethalft. Should be easy enough. Just a nice hop, skip, and a jump up that way and through there. Easy. Oh, brilliant. We've certainly made it to somewhere. Oh my god, what is this place? Wait, this looks a little familiar. I'm getting... I'm getting flashbacks. There's a helmet here somewhere, too. I know it. Bada-bam! Give that a search. Take Sanamiya's journal. 
Volume 4. Oh, and kill a Death Lord, I guess. Ah, don't yell at me. Jeez. How absolutely rude is that? I mean, I guess since we're here, we're gonna have to check out the rest of this place. There's really no reason not to. A dragon? Oh my god. No. Oh well. Okay, well he seems a little preoccupied, so we'll just kill this idiot. A death overlord? Wow. Good try. What do you have there? An ethereal axe staff? Are you shitting me? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wow. I love that. Get this word, too. Uh-oh, he's here. Quickly, quickly now. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Come down here and fight me like a... Ah, like not a dragon, I was gonna say. Fire hot. Oh, good, you've come to land right here. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, okay, easy does it, buddy. What? Where the hell are you going? Come back. Oh, you don't have a choice but to land, do ya? Haha, -ha, fool. Dead fool. Give me your stuff. Get a nice dragon soul, too, now that Mirak isn't around to take it off of me. That stupid fool. Yeep! It's okay, I'm fine. No. Absolutely no. Ebony sword, okay. Oh yeah? How do you like it, idiot? Yeah, now you're in the crevice. Crevice boy. Whoa, buddy. Ugh. No, come back. Oh, uh, it's okay, I can search your bow and that counts. Maybe the thing I'm looking for isn't actually up here. Oh wait, no, there it is. The Helm of Orion Bearclaw. Looks pretty cool. Grants increased strength and stamina. Fantastic. And a big chest for our efforts, love to see it. And a book. Wither Shins. Yep, I'll take that. Very good. Take that glass bow too. Okay, well. That was fun. Guess we'll get on out of here. Okay, we are here outside of the teleport to Benarai, which we don't actually have unlocked yet because there... Oh, there is an item just outside of this particular dungeon from the looks of it. Uh, Dino's Bottomless Pack is what we're looking at. Or, well, what's here anyway for us to get. Just outside of Falkreath from the looks of it. Um, hello? Guess I'm coming at this place from the wrong angle. What's up, guys? Need something? Hey. Yes? Why is that? Hello! Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Quite so, my friend. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Okay, yeah, I'd love to share a drink with you. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well... Your spirits! Ho ho! Cheers, Too right. Friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Oh, they will, my friend. What do you have on you? Anything good? A charmed necklace. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. You guys got anything else on you, maybe? No. And... No. Did get that charmed necklace, though, so that's pretty good. I'll take that as a win. Rather, it appears I'm approaching a different ruin from the other side. North Shriek Wind Bastion. If I had to guess, the other side is the other Shriek Wind Bastion. Oh, this will take me there from the looks of it. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, why not? Cool, I'll take those. Okay, it doesn't. So we'll have to go through Shriek Wind Bastion here to get to the other side and we'll probably find some goodies on the inside too so that works out good for me is someone there nope just me I heard ah! <sighs> you sure enough did hear something could you imagine being that person that rounds a corner and then just gets absolutely devastated by a sword sucks to suck i guess well is that oh some kind of handle here? Ah, I see. 
Oh, that's a good way to die up there, I guess, from the looks of things. Hello? Oh. Hey, we leveled up! How great! We can probably do Dragon Knowledge again, too. Even better, which means more perks for us, which you'll love to see. Hooray! Hello? Oh, they're up here. Just some normal skeletons, no problem for me. I am Dragonborn, and that's easy pickings. Oh, I didn't get the other excavation site. We'd be at a hundred if I did, but I forgot the other one back at Arkwind Point. Oh, no! Well, one more, and we will be maxed out on archaeology, and that will be just fantastic. Anyone around here looking to die? By my hand, maybe? A lot of blood in this place, that's for sure. Which normally would be alarming, but wow! Okay, this is actually the weirder thing that's here. A bunch of boots. So many different boots. Who's collecting shoes in this place? Get a hold of yourself. Jesus. Hmm. What a lovely spot. Some moss. There's some water coming down. It's kind of pretty. More of you? Guess what? The gate won't save you. Handles, huh? Well, this is a dead end except for some armor. And this is also a dead end except for some more armor. Okay, and it doesn't look like we can progress through there just yet, but there are some handles over here and this looks like a dead end as well. Ah, shit. Well, it wasn't that one. Well, it looks like that did it. What does this one do? Who knows? Oh, it shuts that one. All right, well, that makes sense. Pressing right along. Hopefully this will get us where we need to go. I assume it will. Mostly just skeletons. I was expecting to maybe fight something a little bit more dangerous, but it's fine. This is fine. Aha, more blood and stuff. Never should have come here. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Is it just me or is this like a fat ruby? Like what the hell? It's kind of big, you know? Big, big booty. Ruby. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming today. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing pretty well. I certainly can't complain. What is... what is all of this? Oh, that probably takes me outside, doesn't it? It does. Well, I need to see what's in the other direction, though. So far, nothing, really. Just, uh, more... oh, more of this. Wraps back around and probably up over there. Huh, I wonder why that part went outside. Maybe that's the, the, the north side? I don't know, south side? I am untouchable! Die. Hey, a master vampire. <laughs> no! Stop. <laughs> Gabler! Dead vampire! Yay! You got anything cool down here? No? Do you have anything cool at all? Well, big chest for our efforts isn't too bad. Fortunes three, okay. Oh my God, this place really just keeps going. Hey, a word wall for us though, that's nice. It's just a Draugr white? Come on. Oh, uh, elemental fury, that's pretty good. Don't. That's a good one. I like that one. I don't know if I have any of those. I might have a couple. Ah, Shriek Wind Overlook. This is hopefully where we're trying to get, or at least it also leads to where we want to go. Uh, no. Okay, we definitely wanted that other door then. Brilliant. South Shriek Wind. Which means the item we're looking for should just be here-ish. It's close. Maybe it's, 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 oh, it's right up there. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, just a regular Draugr, huh? Was not expecting that. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. Thanks for playing. You lose. Okay, mm so how am I supposed to get up there? What is that, another door? No, that's the door I came out of, I think, and the journal is up there still. So maybe we were supposed to go outside of that overlook to get there. Hard to say, really. But I'm not discounting the possibility that we can do some intense parkour to get up there either. Just have to weigh our options a little bit. Okay, this is the mountainside that we'll be parkouring on, so 
Hold still, and we will be up there really shortly, actually. This is not taking long at all. Wait. Ah, brilliant. We've done it. Good. No, easy does it. We want to stay up here. Huh. Nice. It looks like we made it. Beautiful. Dino's bottomless pack. What does that do? Increase carry weight by 200 and you sometimes find lost things in its depths. Not super useful for us, but still pretty cool. All right. All right, we are actually back here at Gloomreach Cave, which we've been to before, but there is an artifact waiting for us inside. It is Arkin's tool bag or something like that. Whatever the case, we will find it lickety split, maybe, and then be on our way. Falmer, ugh. Gross. Wait, I will tame you. You will be mine. Ah. Be tamed. Brilliant. Thank you. All right. We're making good progress here. Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past, and quite frankly, we're homebound. Na 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 na. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. Gloom Reach Hive. I don't remember why we came to Gloom Reach for the first time, but here we are once again. Trap. Ouch. It's fine. Okay. Ah. Stop. Wow. Why were you like so strong? I mean, at least it's just regular Falmer. It's not like any asshole Warmaster Falmer or anything. Just your average everyday Falmer, and that's. Perfectly manageable, really. They don't even put up that much of a fight. Yeah! Aha! Well, there's the thing we're looking for. Get Arcane's journal, or Ar Arkans, whatever. And his tool bag. There are many unique items which provide bonuses while they are in your inventory, which can also be displayed in the museum. Since miscellaneous items, keys, etc. cannot be favorited, placing them inside Arkin's tool bag by using it in your inventory will maintain the effects of these items and prevent them from being sorted. It can also be utilized to activate explorer relics contained within instead of finding and activating each one. It also provides convenient division of inventory, though weight is translated to the bag itself for all items inside. Excellent, we found it. Now we just have to get out of this place. We're kind of a little deep. Hey. Ooh, what do we have here? This will be our 100th archaeology perk. As soon as we can get it, we just have to kill this idiot up here. And then we can... Ugh! Damn it. Yeah! Ba -ba -da -ba. And there it is. 100 archaeology. We have maxed out the skill, which means we can unlock the final perk. Very exciting. Oh, God. We're going deeper. Just get me out of here. Oh, okay. We're back. Good. Excellent. All right. I guess the next place to go is over here to get Rain's shelter. We'll go there from Redwater Den. That seems fine. Whoa, Nelly. We are coming up on a crazy view. Nice. Get a load of that action. Hooey! And we're very, very close to the thing we're looking for. It appears to be just right down here. And so it is. Right here in this awkward little area. Rain's a shelter. Rain shelter is a home away from home. This cozy little tent is a safe place to rest your head and stash your stuff. Make a nice meal or whip up a quick potion. Use the tent in your inventory to pitch and enter it. Upon exiting, it will pack down and return to your inventory. Beautiful. Let's try it. Rain shelter. Nice. Just pitched ourselves a little tent. Oh, take those. What else you got hidden around this place, huh? Can't take those. Oh, can take those. Raw food storage. Some some stuff. There's some ingredients here. Oh my god. Can I search my stuff at the safe house? Incredible. That's actually brilliant. Can sleep on this cot. Wow, oh, nice. And then we leave, it packs up, and we're right where we were I've a second ago. And fishing in these parts for years. Cool. Good for you. Doesn't look like there's anything else particularly useful around here. Tis a nice spot though, with an just a gorgeous view. My god. 
All right, looks like the other one is in Stillborn Cave, which I think we passed but didn't enter. I don't recall. I feel like I'd remember something like that, but I don't know. Not exactly what you call the memory man. And we're here for Sans Torch, which is marked on the map as sort of ahead of us. Should be no problem. I'm not concerned about it. And neither should you be also concerned about it. Yeah. A trap? I don't think so, baby. I'm past the point of running into traps haphazardly. It doesn't happen to me anymore. Maybe we should level up, huh? Put it into... I'll take more Magicka, why not? Our illusion is also 94, our alteration is 99. Fantastic. And I have three perks? Ah, shit. Well, I guess there's no harm in continuing to flush out smithing here. Get some of that, get some of that. Get up over here, need 80 for that. And then I guess we'll do advanced workshop. Makes sense. Excellent, good use. Getting our smithing tree all perked up. Be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. Come on, be my friend. Yay, friendly. It's that easy. Just have to sit there spamming E until they become my buddy. Hey, look at that. Whoa, that is freaking out. Take Sans Journal, his knapsack with just a brilliant amount of items in it. Love to see that. And Sans Torch. Sans Torch. Well, as far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything. But now that I added it, I have Sans Protection. Block 30% more damage with Sans Torch. Huh. Okay. Well, now, once again, we just need to get the hell out of this place. Okay, I guess all that is left for us is the Malrus Codex. Um, but in order to activate that, we have to go around activating these beacons. This one is very close to where we saved De Delris? De I don't know. The Moth Priest. It's very close to where we sa saved the Moth Priest. So that's very convenient. It was that weird runestone that I didn't know what it was. You guys were nice enough in the comments to tell me what its purpose was. So thank you. Makes it easy to get to. It's right here. Activate. Da 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 da. The other one is at the peak of this mountain. So we'll go to Alt Fond and then we'll go up through this pass, I think. Because there should be a unique item at the pass too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh good, now I've got a chorus and just an alarmingly huge posse, apparently, and that's fine. Ahoy, travelers! Oh, did you disintegrate? Bummer. You guys all suck. Oh, there's another one. Nice little mountain pass here with some goodies for us, I hope. Yep, ancient traveler's skull. That's mine. Thank you. Anything else good around here? No. Cloak of the Crow? That no. seems unique. Do you mind? Oh, it's the spirit of the ancient traveler. I guess he wasn't very happy that I took his head. Well, too bad. It's mine now. If you didn't want me to take your head, you shouldn't have died while having it, I guess. It doesn't appear to be... The location I'm going for doesn't appear on my, my HUD. So I guess we'll just work our way up this mountain here. Should be at the top. How hard can that be? I think this calls for something a little specific. Yeah, bam What are you doing all the way over there? That is not where I summoned you at all. There we go. Come on, boy. We got a mountain to, to cheat our way up, and this is how we're going to do it. Thankfully, it doesn't look like Arvac can despawn while I'm riding him, so that's awfully convenient. The Aging Monument. These guys don't want to fight me? See you later, Arvac. Oh, they're dead, I guess. Is there anything up here, really? This is kind of a strange spot. Oh, activate. Dwemer bust. Oh, that was it. Perfect. We found it. And the last one is waiting for us right here, just outside of Helgen, so... That will be perfectly convenient, won't it? Methinks there's a Wisp Mother nearby? Sure enough. Oh, hell no. 
I'm not dealing with you walking away from me. That's annoying. Good night and goodbye. Give me your shit. Aha! The snow elf shrine? Is that what it called it? Monument? Monument. Activate. Retrieve the codex. Don't mind if I do. Ah, beautiful. Open. Give me the codex. Da 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 da. Book of Wonders. Completed it. I should probably read it. Beautiful. Okay, what does that do for us? Oh, it's a, it's a power. The codex can provide a wide range of powers and abilities. It can be used once per day. What would you like to do? Oh, is that where the, is that the the translucent chest? Oh my god, these are both cool. Extra Ethereum would be kind of nice too. Map for Wormstooth and Falscar. How fascinating. Let's activate it and see what this SUT chest is. Locate the unique treasure chest. Hey, sorry guys. Turns out in order to build a display for you guys, I need a mammoth snout, which for some reason I don't have. So I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. You're just gonna look really nice in the museum, that's all. Wait, this is Hamvir's rest. Well, now I'm just confused. A master chest, huh? Okay. Damn. All right. Not too bad. Certainly nothing to gawk at. Dig. Aha! A treasure chest. Cool. I completed and found a unique treasure. Find another chest! Wait, it's just pointing me to the same one that's right here. I waited 24 hours for that. Ridiculous. Oh, those are unique Tontos. Thank God I came back. Thank God it told me to come back. Just wanted to wait another 24 hours to see if it'll still point me in the direction of this one. It does. Okay, so I guess it just points you to whichever one is closest. That's fine. We're here in Dragon's Bridge because one of San Amia's journals points just kind of in this direction, and I figured with the time we have left, we will go and see what this thing is, what its deal is. Um, if it has unique items for us to get our hands on, I think that would be nice. Oh god. What do we have here? Bad. No. Hey ah. Eh. Okay, well, I guess we'll just excavate this site, since we're master excavators. And I made a discovery! Brilliant! Wow, a coffin. Activate. Oh, good lord, yay for me. Garnet, some gold. Okay. Hey, and a coin, a Merithic Silver Dragon Mark. Okay, so those are definitely worth checking out, pretty cool. This one is actually right over here in this big ass lake, so I'm gonna give that a look see as well. What's this? Line and lore? Not reading that. Oh, what do you know about that? It looks like it leads over to this uh this ruin. I remember when I found this last time. It seemed like very buried. It's okay, we'll just excavate underwater. No problem. We can do that for 12 hours. It's fine. Just have to oh, look at that. There's a whole area just open for us. That's crazy. Okay, well, let's have a pop in, shall we? Sargrund. Sargrund. Oh, there's dead people floating. And I'm suffocating. It's fine. Totally fine. Oh, God, I need to find some way. I thought I was going to cast water breathing. But alas, I, I need to be not underwater to cast water breathing as you might expect trap door that requires a key okay oh my good god nice quickly before we die oh i feel like there's so many unique gems down here also we're very magically not suffocating in this moment oh there we go we're back to suffocating it's fine it's fine nobody panic you're being dramatic, me. It's just just a little bit of water. You act like you've never had water in your lungs before. Primitive Nord Heavy Curious. You know, we'll take in this stuff, too. Everything's fine. 
We're, we're doing good. We just got to get the hell out of here. Okay, some nice oxygen. Good. Love it. All right, let's check out the one that is hiding inside Valthum here. I think everyone is still pretty much dead in here, and we've already made our way through Valthum, so... Let's just get to it. Excavate! I made a discovery! Bum -ba -da -bum. The discovery is that somehow I didn't wake this guy up this whole time. That's crazy. Unlock. Okay, mm I was expecting maybe something. Aha, at Morin Bronze Seal. Nice, decent amount of coins. I'm, I'm not too, I'm not upset about that at all. Now we just need to get out of here. So I guess one of the last journals is actually on the Deva Vesa here. I don't know if I've actually gone down into this place. Holy shit, I totally haven't. I haven't seen anything like this. This is crazy looking. What the hell? Looks like I have access to all my supplies like you'd expect. Good lord. Okay, and there's there's the book. Just have to figure out how to get to it. Why were the Dwemer considered a great house? Hmm, I don't know. Roll up rug. Perfect. Open smuggler's hold. Excellent. And there is Sanamiya's first journal. Beautiful. And some empty chests. Okay. And that is Tools of the Trade completed. Um, we can, if we'd like, go to Mazolft at this point. Uh, to excavate the hidden chamber there. And I mean, yeah, why not? This episode might be pressing a little bit longer, but it's fine. All right, we're here at Mazolft um, because this is where Sanamia's journal told us to go. And thankfully, this one's just right outside. And there's a marker. Perfect. We'll just spend 12 hours excavating this to see what we can find. Good lord, the storeroom sealed chamber. Okay. Get some ethereum, maybe? Spiders. That's not what you want. Jeez. Let's see if we can use the codex to find extra ethereum. Ethereum inside large Dwemer chests since we're here. I feel like that makes sense to activate. There's a large Dwemer chest right here, so maybe we'll find some extra Ethereum in there. You never know. Nope, no such luck. And also, is there anything good in here? The very least, like a coin? Please? Do not want to feel like I came in here for nothing, but that is the impression I'm getting. But alas, no such luck, I guess. Okay, looks like the last one is right here at Fort Frostmouth, so we will just go just in that direction. And that will be the end of the Tools of the Trades, Sanmia's Journal. Well, not all of them, because there's still that phantasmal chest, but I don't know how to find that thing in such a way that I can, you know... Like, I know a handful of places it will show up, but... I mean, it just feels like mostly luck or just hanging out in one location for you to be able to find it. Ford Frostmouth. We'll take a look at this place, see if there's anything good here. And, of course, we will excavate the area Sanamiya wants us to excavate. Beautiful. Wonderful. Love it. Love it. Men! An invader has entered the fort. Prepare what? Some random ass general talking to me? All right. Fort. Fort Frostmouth will never fall. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna make it fall with prejudice if you keep pressing me like this. The area we need to excavate appears to be just down these here stairs. <laughs> Letter to Selena, part four. Hmm. Maximian Axius. Several letters to Selena, apparently. Just take all those, excavate this. Yay, we made a discovery. Wonderful, love it. Big chest for our efforts. Ancient Nordic pickaxe, I'll take another one of those, why not? See what's in this strong box. That's it. That's all that was here for me? Okay. 
Guess we should try and find and kill this general, huh? I know I'm making more work for myself by not ending the episode here because I've already recorded quite a lot of footage, it feels like, but it's fine. We'll just see what happens. Worst case scenario, we just have a slightly longer episode than usual, but you guys don't mind that, do you? You'd tell me if you did, right? Hello, General. I'm here to kill you and probably take your armor if I had to guess. Uh, uh. You're alive? Not so much anymore. The Champion's Cudgel. Brilliant. And a letter to the Imperial City about how blah 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 blah. What else you got around these parts? Some gloves? At Morin Kingmaker's Mark, a scroll of abjuration, which I don't think we need any of those anymore. Painting? Love to see paintings. Two-handed skill book, that's good. An unread book, among other things. The Northern Maiden is ship shaped ready, ready to go. No way, crazy. Okie dokie, 10,000, nice. We walked out of here with a very good number of things, so let's get started putting it away. We're gonna start yes. with... The Helm of Orin Bearclaw. Nice. Love it. The Champion's Cudgel. Beautiful. A Lunar Iron Sword that we picked up. Good. Alright, uh, we killed a Mammoth today, so we should be able to build this now. Brilliant! Looks great. And we also got a very good amount of unique-seeming gems, so let's update this. Damn, 11 new gems. Love it. The Ancient Traveler's Skull goes right there. Beautiful. I have a spot for the Tonto. Both of them, I would hope, but perhaps not. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to put away the rest of these. Alvero's Tools. Sans Torch. Uh, Malrus Codex. Alexi's Key. Rain Shelter. Dino's Bottomless Pack. Arcane's tool bag Luca's pickaxe which we're just gonna keep on us I guess and all of Sanamia's journals beautiful what a what a nice display we got going on here oh might as well get the last perk there nice maxed out archaeology just like that all right we also made a mark of the 500 pretty cool kind of hard to see beautiful though well, that's all the time we have today. Gonna give a shout out to our museum benefactors. You guys are so cool and awesome, and I appreciate you so much. We have a new one today, Chris Carter. Ba -ba -da -ba. Thank you so, so much for becoming a museum benefactor. You are awesome. You are all awesome. Everybody's cool. In the next one, I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm thinking Worm's Tooth. Uh, but until then, I've been Tuber4. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, become a museum benefactor if you'd like access to some of the perks and to be on the museum benefactor screen. It's pretty nice. It's only 99 cents. So thank you all so much for watching. Catch you guys all on the flippity flop side. Until then... Just remember to be nice to each other, and of course, look out behind you. Bye!